Hi everyone, it is Thursday, March 29th, and it is opening day for baseball fans. And I saw it on Twitter. Well, my son, my son Zach, who is a huge baseball fan, he's a Red Sox fan, has been forever since he was a little kid. And um, he told me about it yesterday, and then I saw it on Twitter this morning. I was like, that's right. So I looked up books on baseball, just curiosity-wise, because I always do that. And I found out that The Natural was considered the number one novel if you look up baseball. Like, that's what you will get, okay? And um, so I looked it up. It was written in 1952, and it was a debut novel from, and I'm going to read this guy's name, um, Bernard Malamud. Okay, it was a debut novel in 1952. The movie with Robert Redford was released in 1984. So if you're a huge baseball fan and you feel like reading about baseball, you can go read his book or just go watch the movie. I'm sure the book's better than the movie, but anyway, that's a little baseball news. Um, then I was on Facebook and uh, Jenny Walsh, who I interviewed a while ago um, about this book. Becoming Bonnie. Look at this book. Isn't it crazy? Raised lettering. I mean, I love this book cover so much. And it is about Bonnie from Bonnie and Clyde. Well, today is Clyde's birthday. He was born in 1909. So I'll let you guys do the math on that. But anyway, um, this book was all about how she became Bonnie. Okay. And then her next book, Side by Side, which is about Bonnie and Clyde and when she met Clyde and until their demise, which doesn't end up well for them. But anyway, that book is coming out June 5th and I'm going to be reaching out to Jenny because I do want to read that book and I do want to talk to her about it. So uh, I'm very excited for her because this book was so good. I love this book. And I will be giving it away in the future when it gets closer to the release of Side by Side. So um, I just was browsing the internet. I'm always looking for lists. I love book lists because for some reason I always find a book that I haven't read or I haven't seen or, you know, somehow. And I found books that I haven't heard about, about which was crazy, okay? Esquire came out with an article called The Best Books of 2018 So Far. So it's like we're at the end of a quarter. I understand why they wrote that. But I couldn't believe that there were books on here that I had not heard about. And um, so I just want to go through them really quickly with you guys, okay? The first one I saw in there that I definitely want to read is called Raw, My Journey to Into Wu-Tang. Now, for all of us older people, we know that Wu-Tang was a rap group back in the day. And the guy who wrote this is Lamont Hawkins, who was called You God from wu Tang. Okay. It actually says that in Wikipedia, but anyway, that book looks great and I haven't heard of it. So I'm definitely going to go look that up. I don't think I'm going to be able to get an interview with him. Eh, he's probably pretty untouchable right now, but that's okay. I'll still read the book. Then I saw that they listed my, an American marriage by Tayari Jones. That's not shocking. Okay. I read that a while ago, gave away the book. Um, that was so good. And I was so happy to see it on that list because on the list, that was the only one that I've read. And I have read a lot of books from January to March, and that was the only one that I read. So I found that really interesting. Um, two more books I want to just quick mention. There's a book out there called Laura and Emma, and I have seen this out there by Kate Greathead. Kate Greathead. And I've never heard of her. And I went on her website. Um, I sent a little uh, note to her publicist to see if I can reach out to her. Um, but that looks really good. And then the next one, this one actually was the number one. And then I did, hadn't seen it. And it's by Peter Carey, A Long Way Home. And it's about it's a book about Australia. So it looks like he's based in the UK. I also got in touch with his um, publicist. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I was just, I love book lists. I will look at book lists all day just to see, you know, like to see. And, and look at, I mean, a great book list, book list um, Esquire magazine. So anyway, that's about it for today. And for all you baseball fans, I hope you have fun watching baseball. I'm sure it's been a long winter for you. And uh, until tomorrow.